Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of scatter plots. This is standard 5.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here, and it's going to show the high temperatures and the numbers of snow cones sold at a snack bar on seven days. And so we have these scatter plots. So what are these scatter plots here? Well, these are a new type of graph that we see in fifth grade, introduced to us for the very first time, and it acts very much like a coordinate plane. So our high temperature is going to act like our x-axis. And our number sold is going to act like our y-axis. So we've got the high temperature down here on the bottom of each of these representations. And then each of those have the x-axis right there. And then the number sold is going to be, like I said, the y-axis. So the one difference here is this is called a scatter plot. And the name kind of describes what type of graph it is. Nothing is necessarily neat and orderly. So sometimes the data we get from real life is just messy and everything doesn't fit into a nice little beautiful bar graph. And so we just kind of throw the numbers up there and we're looking for trends. We're not looking for exactness. So that's what a scatter plot does. So first let's match what we can see here. And you notice our high temperatures, they're not even in order, right? We've got 92 and then 85 and then 90. So they're all over the place. So let's just look for this first pair, 92, 25 and let's see if we can find that in any of these representations here. So here's my 92 and then my 25 is going to be right there between 20 and 30. So I'm going to have to kind of guesstimate on some of these. So 92, 25. So we're looking good on A. I'm going to put a little check mark. 92, 25 looking good on B. 92, I don't see any 9225 on C, so I'm going to put an X right there. So C looks like it's already out. And then D already looks like it's out. So even just looking at that first ordered pair, I'm noticing that 9225 doesn't show up on C or D. Let's look at this second one, 8530. So that is going, 85 is going to be right there between 84 and 86. But at least 30 is going to be right there on that line. So 30, that's looking good on A. 8530 is also looking good on B. Uh, they don't they don't give you an 8530 on C. So C is just definitely out. Or they don't give it to you on D. And so C and D are just al already not looking very good. Let's look at 9028 for our third pair. So I've got 90, and here's my 28, and I'm going to call that a 28 right there. That's just barely below 30. But see, look at this B, 90. See that, that one right there? It should be a little bit lower. They actually have it on the line, so I'm thinking that B is out. We already know C and D are out. So let me just check the rest of A to see if it works for me. 87, 22. So 87 is right here between 86 and 88, and 22 is just a hair above 20. So that is looking good. Let's look at uh, 8722 on B. Once again, look, see, B is out because that 22, that should be right above the 20, not on the 20. So there we go. There's confirmation that B is out. Let's check 9532. There's my 95. 32 is right above the 30. There we go. Let's check 9330. 93 is between 92 and 94, right on the 30 line. And 9240, 9240. So here's, there we go. So A is looking good. And that's one of the reasons why we can have a scatter plot is look, you've got two different Y coordinates, if you want to call them for 92. You've got a 9240 and you've got a 9225. And that's perfectly fine. So if we were wanting to use this as a scat plot to try to figure out what's the trend line, we could almost kind of draw a line kind of going up like this. It's not exactly perfect, but you can see the trend as the temperature goes up, the number of snow cones sold goes up. So that's what a scatter plot is used for, and our answer is A.